So I'm with the FWC today, going to sample some ponds for striped newts. Striped newts are uh, on the decline in Florida. There's not a lot of breeding ponds left. So, really cool species. So let's see what we find today. I guess uh, it's a gopher frog tadpole. Yeah. Like, it's not like there's that many predators here. No, there's not. But now compared to some of those sites, that all sorts of dragon size. So, so what's the status of them now? The same? So, Youth Fish Wire Service decided it's not warrant listing, so we are in the process of seeing if it warrants state listing, and I'm the lead person on that. We're going to have a first meeting problem, a meeting of Probably early April. I have to do the biological status review. I thought they were st listed. No. They're, they weren't listed? No. Oh. Nope. Here, let me see. I'm going to get a couple put, a, of put them in here. It's going to need water because it's got gills. Pinamores typically don't have stripes, they're pretty nondescript. They don't, they don't develop stripes until, unless, ask that stripes and then the, you know, terrestrial adults or then the adults that come back from terrestrial life, but. And where do they breed? Right in the water, right? Yeah. They spend about three months laying, they, they lay their eggs individually to catch the vegetation. It takes them a long time. You know, female use their high legs and kind of, you know, catch them carefully. To, And there's no F stage. There is an F stage, but not for these guys. So these guys, <coughs> what happens is, um, when larvae, larvae are about six months old, they either turn into an F and leave the pond, or they stay in the water in about six months, become sexually mature as a pinamore. So that thing, that thing has skipped its the F. It's a gravid female. Not by you. Got a few more. These are pitomorphs, neotote, neototes. So they stay this larvae stage. And there's a leech in there. You can see the males are really swollen. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. And you also see how fat the female is. Is she got? Is she gravid? You think? I think she could. She certainly could be. Oh. Looking at her size. Yeah. So I'm in an area that has been burned recently, prescribed burn. Um, so this is usually a nice place to look for reptiles and amphibians because the less foliage, dense grass and bushes, you can find lots of more stuff.
Well, I'm on my way back home now uh, from the weekend trip. Started with the Stripe News survey with the FWC. I uh, also hunted around the coast, west coast of Florida. Uh, no luck there. It was very cold this weekend. The, <laughs> I think the highs on Saturday were in the 50s, and today's Sunday, and it got up. It got up nice today. Today was actually the first nice day to actually go out and look for snakes. So I was lucky enough to find the coral snake, which was actually a really good find. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the next video I've been working on is on Florida king snakes, then and now, and Propelta Sketchula in Florida. So I think it's going to be pretty interesting to show the decline in the counties that are left. So let's see how it turns out and it should be the next one up after this one. Tune in and check it out when you can.